So we grow butternut squash here at the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardens, and we've had some issue with them this year, and there potentially you could may have the same issue with your squash skin looking like that. Holly, you've done some research and found out what the culprit is because you want your butternut squash to look like this, very pretty, uh, no flaws in the skin, and as large as possible. But what did you find out about the issues that we have with these particular squashes there? Well, it's called black rot, and the scientific term is Didamella bryone. And what it creates is it creates these spots like this, and it makes them look kind of like scabs almost. And this occurs during the growth, and then most of the time it pops up after harvest. It affects winter which, squash. Which is what happened to us. We harvested right. and they were fine. All of a sudden, we brought them into cure, and this became, became a problem for us. Right. And it affects winter squash, such as butternut, acorn, hubbard, and uh, spaghetti squash as well. It happens, though, during, during the growing. If it has too much water... And we actually did have quite a wet summer. A wet, wet summer, very cool summer. So when it's so. laying on the, you know, on the, the ground, like this, it, it just basically, since this part is more towards the ground, I guess the water kind of pools there. Well, it also it's close to the stem it's close too. Close to the stem, yeah. yeah. So that's that's what happens, and it is still edible. Now, if you cut this open and there's the rot on the inside, then you don't want to eat that part. But if it's just on the flesh right here, you can still eat it. And as long as you, you want to make sure you obviously cook it properly as well. So cut the bad parts out and it's good to eat. So that's something that if you've experienced in your squash garden this year, now you know what it is. It's from too much water and really there's no real way of preventing that, I guess. And it happens a lot in greenhouses too. So if you have any greenhouse growing squash, um, th that can be common as well because greenhouses tend to be a, a moist area as well. Well, thanks for watching. For more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable